How many of you remember the other day when I did this video? Let's, let's go to the lives real quick. Let's pull it up on the screen. How many of you remember when I did this video right here? This video right here titled, Did BMW Give Risa Tisa a Car for Free? Now, y'all should remember that video because I added BMW in the video. And we got like 200,000 views in one freaking hour, in like one or two hours, where I basically was going in on BMW, telling them that they have lost their prestige by even associating themselves with someone like that, right? And when I say someone like that, I'm not talking about her gender. I'm not talking about her race. I'm not talking about her weight, okay? And we're gonna get to that in a second with Charlemagne running around here. But it has nothing to do with that. But it has everything to do with the fact that you have people out here that are working hard, that are struggling, that are doing everything in their power to live the best life that they can live, and they do not get the luxury of being gifted a BMW simply because they made foolish choices. Because that's really what this boils down to. I don't care how much of a publicity tour she goes on. I don't care if Tamron Hall interviews uh, uh, her. I don't care if Good Morning America interviews her. I don't care if Club Shay Shay interview her. I don't care if they go find Arsenio Hall with the big finger and have him interview her. She made foolish choices. She dated a dude that she knew was trifling. She knew he was lying the whole time. And guess what? You should not get rewarded for making horrible choices. There's plenty of you women out here and dudes that have made horrible choices. Is anybody giving you a BMW? Is anybody giving you a BMW? Of course not. No one's giving you a BMW. So, guess what? I sat there and I said, you know what? I had planned on getting a BMW. I had planned on getting a, a, a nice BMW. I had planned on getting a seven series, you know, spinning that big bread. But you know what I said? I said, no, I'm not going to sit back and watch as a woman gets on the Internet. Drags a brother's reputation, a brother who does not get the opportunity to tell his side of the story and defend himself and everybody just latches on to that story and says oh because this man who paid for you and took care of you didn't give you what you expected to get right because he didn't give you because he didn't give you what you expected to get my son is getting on my nerves why is he going outside without his key Because this man didn't give you what you expected to get, you jump on the internet and now everybody wants to give you what that man supposedly was going to give you. Now everybody wants to send you to London and Paris and, 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 and give you all of these things simply because you made some mistakes, right? So I went in on BMW. I said, I tell you what, this is what, what y'all can do. I said, you can give her that car. I ain't tripping about it. But just know, if you give her that free car, you're going to miss out on some business from a paying customer because I'm not going to get no BMW. And I suggested that no other brothers get BMWs. I suggested that the brothers stand 10 toes down on business and don't even mess with BMW no more. And guess what happened? Something very peculiar took place. Let's pull up the video and you guys be the judge of what you think happened. I got the T on BMW and let me just say tisk tisk BMW. So right after Risa Tisa's 50 part Who the Fuck Did I Marry series blew up, BMW released this video. 
It says, on our way to find a dark blue BMW X5 with cognac interior. Now, nowhere in here does it say, hey, we're giving this car to Risa Tisa. I get that, but you implied it, bro. So after we had Risa Tisa on our live together and we raised money for her to go to London, Delta said, hey, we'll pay for the plane ticket. Several hotels offered to give her a free hotel. And then BMW posted this. So with everybody jumping in the pool to give her things, this definitely looked like, hey, we're giving you a car. Now, having been in the car business myself, I thought they might lease her a car for three years. That happens a lot. Car dealerships and car manufacturers, when they give people cars publicly, it's actually a three-year lease. That happens a lot. But they also give people cars outright all the time. So it could have been either, but guess what? This post that BMW made is now gone. And BMW is trying to walk around with their hands in the pocket whistling like nothing happened. Like, bruh, this is shit marketing. You look like asshole. It's like dangling something in front of somebody. I'm like, nah, I was kidding. But guess what? Hyundai said, we got you. In response to BMW's bullshit, Hyundai came out and said, ready when you are. And it's very clear they're not fucking around. <laughs> Number one, I love this for Hyundai. Number two, I love this for Risa Tisa. And number three, the Hyundai Palisade is fire. So remember, friends, in a world of BMWs, be a Hyundai. Now, you know what I thought when I first saw this? You know what I thought? Is it cocky? For the angry man to think that BMW was planning on giving her that car until somebody went live, added BMW, and had 200,000 people watch a video where I went in on them about losing their prestige and how dare they associate themselves with this ratchet, ghetto, trifling story. Now, I want to ask you, Beano Nation. I want to ask you. Is it a stretch of the imagination to think that the angry man might have that much influence. Is it a stretch of the imagination to think that somebody in corporate saw that video and said, yeah, this might not be a good look. Is it possible? Is it possible? Do you think, could it be, could it be the angry man was the hidden hand? Could it be? <laughs> Dance puppets! Dance! <laughs> could it be? Is it possible? So now, the only thing I can say about this, she can have a Honda. I'm not tripping about that. <laughs> she could, hey, Honda, knock yourselves out. <laughs> give her give her three cars. G give her five cars. I, I don't care. <laughs> mm -hmm. And for the record, just in case, because you know what I'm going to do next. This is what I'm going to do next, right? My wife sent a letter to Polo. Say, hey. We got a channel that gets 20 million views a month. And the person on the channel is wearing polo almost every time. Can we get a sponsorship? And polo gonna send back something talking about some, oh, 
Well, you have to be invited for that. So you know what I'm going to do next, Ralph Lauren? I'm going to fire up one of those vertical live streams. You know, the ones where I get like a quarter of a million views. I'm a at Ralph Lauren and I'm a go in. Oh, yeah. I'm a go in. You feel me? Because really, to be truthfully honest, just like uh, um, Miss Onyx told me. With your numbers, Polo should be giving you merchandise. Yeah. 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 Here I am, a loyal customer. You feel me? I got more Polo than, than, than Rolo. You feel what I'm saying? I got more Polo than, 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 I don't know nobody else that rhymes with Polo, but I got a lot of Polo, okay? And I paid for it. You feel me? And I've been sitting up here advertising your stuff for free. Now to come, coming for you too. Coming for you too. Mm-hmm. Ain't no telling how many people done ran to the polo website to try to grab some polo just because they seen me wearing some. You gonna tell me invite on what? 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 No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No. And put some respect on my name. Put some respect on the Angry Man brand. You feel me? But getting back to what I was saying, you know, uh, Good Morning America is now interviewing her or already interviewed her. And I'm telling you right now, the, 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 yo, the stuff she's saying on these interviews is, is like, oh, my God. Is so freaking ridiculous, bruh. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Like, what is what is it with y'all? Why why do they always find someone who makes the worst decisions in life to be their spokesperson? Why do they do that? Why do they do that? Shout out to Tall. He said, make sure to reinforce the suspension in that Hyundai. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> oh, my God. Lord, have mercy. Let me tell you something. Some of the stuff. Some of the stuff, look, look, Dan said, AM, you gonna F around and get sponsors from BMW and have your own line of polo. Hey, it, it need to happen. There needs to be, yo, as much polo as I wear, there should be a angry man line of polo hoodies. Like, let's be real. Let's be real. The same way dudes from QB talked about Hennessy so much, eventually Hennessy had to do a deal with Nas. Like, let's be real. There should be an angry man line of hoodies. Like, real talk. Real talk. An angry man line of, of polo hoodies and 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 the polo collar shirt, you feel me? He flies, I don't know what. But getting back to the whole Risa Tisa thing. Yeah, like BMW, you may have redeemed yourself. You may have, if it's true that you see, I didn't even know if it was true if you were gonna give her a car. I just saw the rumor circulating. So I don't even know if it's true if you're not going to give her a car. But I will say this. If you backed out of that, yeah, you backed out of that, you, you dodged one because I'm telling you right now, 
There is no way on God's green earth. No, nope. if I knew that you gave that uh, 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 ridiculous person, gotta censor myself. If 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 I thought for one second you gave that ridiculous person a free BMW, a free X5 with 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 champagne interior, do you realize how much? <laughs> Do you realize how much a, a freaking royal blue X5 with champagne interior is? Especially after she didn't say it all of that. Because you know they was like, uh oh, we can raise the price on this. Like, come on, man. There's no way. I'm sorry. 